All right, guys, today I'm going to be showing you a card trick by Bowen Zhang. He sent this in to me. He wanted me to show this on my channel and then give him a shout out as well. So make sure to check out his channel, guys. Thank him for the trick and make sure to, to uh, subscribe to his channel. Anyways, guys, here is the video. All right, so you can start it off, um, you know, by talking. This is kind of like a poker card trick. So you can start off by saying, um, you know, you flopped a queen jack and a ten of hearts, but you were only holding uh, four and a three. So obviously, you know, you can't really get anywhere with these two cards. And you were hoping to get the ace and the king of hearts over here. So let's go ahead and leave these off to the side. One, two, three. And so those are the same three cards. And look at these. These are the cards you were dealt with. And you, like I said, you really wanted to change these into the ace and the king of hearts. So we go ahead and shake these cards. You guys can see that I've changed them to the ace and the king. But this isn't really what we needed because we had the hearts over here. But let's say we snap our fingers. And just like that, we've changed the flop to a queen, jack, and a ten of spades. So now you did end up with that royal flush in the end. So this is a trick, guys. Hope you guys like it. And if you want to do it, don't forget to stick around for the tutorial. All right, so like I said, um, you know, you can change the patter um, depending on what you're trying to talk about. So I kind of did like a poker story where let's say you wanted to change the cards you were dealt with so you can end up, you know, like with the royal flush. But you can do whatever you want, like I said. Um, and essentially, here's what your setup is. Is going to look like so you want to get out all of these cards so you want to have the royal a royal flush in spades and then a ten jack and a queen of another suit and then just two random cards so I'll pause it you guys can go ahead and get these cards together and then come back so once you have everything what you want to do is stack these cards up so here's the royal flush in spades you're gonna take the ten jack queen king ace on top and then you flip that ace over. So you have all these cards face up with the ace of spades face down. And then you can catch this with a break. So you have all these cards, ace face down. You catch a break here. You take the uh, two random cards. These are the cards that you were dealt with, I guess. Um, and these are going to go face up. And these are going to go face up as well. And all these cards are on top of the break. The spectator cannot see it from the top. And you have these cards here and so like I said you can start the pattern off by saying whatever you can talk about how you know the dealer flopped this uh, this set of cards so you had the queen jack and a ten uh, but all you had here was a three and a four so obviously you can't do anything with this and and you guys would rather uh, you guys should perform this as somebody who actually knows something about poker or else the trick it won't be uh, it won't be as good or something but anyways so you have these cards and you can tell the spectators that you know you wished you could have you could have changed these cards into the ace and the king of hearts here so what you do is as you're telling them that story about you wanting to change these cards you casually just flip these cards up you still have the break here you casually pick these cards up you put them face up you say you know what I'll leave these on the table so you guys can see and all I just did was I picked up from the break and flipped over this big chunk of cards really casually and then you can lay the three cards down on the table and now this is going to be the changed to the uh, set of spades so these are left on the table you say, okay, so we have the flop here, and let's say I really wanted to change these into the king and the ace. And all I did there is as you're pointing these cards, you can come back, riffle down two cards, and catch a pinky break underneath that ace and that king right here. So this is what it's going to look like. You have a pinky break here, holding these uh, two cards up. And you say, look, so I took the two cards, you can put them here, and what you want to do is put them both face up on top of each other, grab it from the break, using middle grip, slide off one card, put that flush with the deck, and now you have a three card packet right here in your right hand. You leave this face up, and you hold that with your thumb just like this. So look, so if I put these cards face to face, and now you leave that block of cards on top, you can shake the deck and then spread it, and now it looks like these cards have actually changed. So now you have the king and the ace over here. And what you could do is you could do a one-handed cut to actually lose this face up four so if you don't want this near the top of the deck you could do like a one hand cut lose this into the middle of the deck somewhere and now you've, you're kind of clean at this point and then from here you can come over and say look so I actually didn't get the hearts you can snap and say but it looks like these cards have changed into the spades so this is trick guys like I said you guys can use any pattern you want make up uh, your own do whatever you want kind of thing so anyways if you guys want to see more videos like this don't forget to subscribe and as always She's a literal vampire, a belly goblin, a bobbling, bouncing after your mama. Let's go.